Oh, hey! So you made it out okay! You really saved my butt back there. Thanks so much. Oh, nah. It was nothing, really. We owe you our thanks as well. When this guy went missing, we thought he'd just up and gone home already. Whoa, now. Hang on a second. Aren't you the shepherd? That outfit fits the description in all the rumors to a T! Well, <laughs> uh... For real? This is the guy that pulled the sword? I figured you were something special, but this is more than I even bargained for. Gotta thank you proper for saving me. Wanna get some grub later? <laughs> to think I'd become buds with the great shepherd himself. My wife and kid are gonna scream the roof off when they hear this. Well, uh, I don't know if... Things must be tough, but hang in there. We'll be cheering you on. Ah, uh, he'll be all right. He's the one who removed this. Great. See you soon, Shepard. They certainly were a lively bunch. Yeah, that's one way to put it. Everyone back home in Alicia is a little more relaxed. You spent your whole life in the village of the Seraphim, right? With no other humans around for miles. Until I met Alicia. I see. We'll do everything we can, but I'm afraid we cannot guarantee a recovery. I'm sorry. It's quite all right. I very much appreciate your diligence. And you? Do you consider yourself prepared? Yes. I shall do everything within my power that I can. Your distinctive personality is a point I greatly admire as your teacher, but I am aware that it also tends to drive the chancellors up the wall. Don't push yourself too hard. I'll let you know if anything happens. Yes. Oh, Saray! Oh, uh, hello there. Should I come back later? Not at all. I was just leaving. Oh, you're... I thank you for your help at the festival, Shepherd Saray. I am Maltran, Knight Preceptor and Advisor to the Royal Army of the Kingdom of Highland. Please do all you can to help Alicia. She could use the support of a good friend. Yes, of course. Wow, I gotta say, she's totally got it together. I know, right? My dream is to be as cool as her. Let's walk while we chat. You were investigating the ruins, correct? Well, yes, that's true. This is for you. My knife! Did you find this at the ruins near Alicia? Yeah, I figured it was yours. This is an important item that's been handed down in my family for generations. I thought I'd never see it again. Thank you so much. Um, I do apologize, Whoa. but may we get down to the matter at hand? Lady Lila, forgive me. 
Wait! Did you just... I could hear her. I definitely heard Lila's voice. Well, this is quite a surprise. Hello? Uh... I see. So it won't be that easy just yet. Lila? I'll explain things, but first, take her hand again. Lila says she'll explain. Can you give me your hand again? Sure. Hello, Alicia? Can you hear me? Yes, yes I can. Loud and clear. I haven't even held my breath yet. At this point, you've grown much more accustomed to my power, to the extent that you can now do what you did before without dulling your other senses. I don't feel any different, though. That's good news. It means you don't have to go through all that hassle anymore to make her voice carry. <laughs> it was fun in a way, but good riddance. <clears throat> all right, very well then. Shall we begin? All right. Lila needed to talk with you about something. With me? I would ask that you lend us your power, so that we may find the vessels and the lords of the land. May I ask what those might be? To explain fully, I shall need to tell you how this world we live in is structured. In the ancient times, the Seraphim and humans worked together in order to protect their land from the malevolence. The Seraphim and humans worked together? If the vessel they dwelled in was pure of heart and harbored no malevolence, those Seraphim with power would become lords of the land. And through worship by the people, they gained the ability to expand the area of the Blessed Domain, which repels the influence of the malevolence. The sanctuaries were built to honor the lords of the land and keep the area around the sanctuary safe from malevolence. However, the sanctuary in this town has neither a lord of the land nor a vessel, let alone anyone who will properly pray to them. Is that why there's so much bad stuff going down around here? Yes, even if the shepherd purifies the malevolence, it will be impossible to maintain the land's protection without the blessings of the lord of the land. I see. So you wanted to ask Alicia for help in finding a suitable vessel for the Lord of the Land? And should they be found, if those of the Sanctuary would properly worship them both, is that correct? Precisely. Any ideas? As for the Sanctuary, I'm afraid almost all of the pious ones in my country have lost their sense of gratitude towards the Seraphim. No way! However, there is a man named Brunor who has recently ascended to the priesthood. He is a good, sincere man who gave his time to help us prepare for the festival. Would he help? Yes, I believe so. Time is of the essence. I'll head for the sanctuary at once. Well, that was abrupt. But she's not wrong either. We must hurry. She's gone already. She's probably heading over to the sanctuary. She's quite the tomboy, that Alicia. Like Father Brunor is out around town on an errand. So it goes. Any clue as to the vessel at least? Let's see. Something free of malevolence. In the Galahad ruins north of here, there's a pure and clean waterfall. The kings of Highland traditionally bathe in its pristine holy water before their coronation ceremonies. Water of utmost purity. That does sound like something that could be a vessel for a seraph. Is something wrong? Beasts have taken up residence in the ruins of late. Whatever was there was strong enough to kill all ten soldiers who came to drive them out. Hellions? Likely. If we don't hurry, then the waterfall could be corrupted by the malevolence. I take it that's not all, is it? The malevolence is strong in Lady Lake. 
The holy water will absorb its influence before we have a chance to enshrine and worship it. Water in particular is delicate and easily corrupted by malevolence. No way! Is there anything we can do? Of course there is. But in that case, we will need the cooperation of a Seraph of Water. As a Fire Seraph, I'm afraid I am wholly mismatched. A Water Seraph, huh? Yes. <sighs> By the way, whatever became of Miklio? I haven't heard his voice yet. We... sort of... had a fight. It's a long story. Anyway, to the Galahad Ruins! There's Hellions to smack. That's true. Let's do what we can, first and foremost. Saray, please let me accompany you. I would, but you don't have the power to battle Hellions. But... Saray, just as the Prime Lord can have Sublords, so too can there be Squires to the Shepherd. If Alicia becomes your Squire, she can fight against the Hellions as long as she is within your domain. My Squire? But... This sanctuary. No, make that all of the sanctuaries in Highland. They have always been like this from the time I was born. A Highland overrun with malevolence is the only Highland I've ever known. I beg of you, Saray. Please, take me as your squire. So that I may see my homeland free of malevolence. Just like you'd always dreamed of. As you wish, Alicia. <laughs> So then, how does this work? After my incantation, give unto Alicia a true name in the ancient tongue. Let's see, a true name for Alicia. A new bud forms on the holy branch. Its flowers bring fruit, its fruit begets seeds. The circle of destiny turns once more. Give life unto the will of the shepherd, and let it be proof of their bond. Thy true name as a squire shall be... Melphis Amechia! Happy to be your squire, Saray. Happy to have one, Alicia. Remain calm, just attack it like you would any other creature. Ready? Ready? Miss Miyama! Release my spirit! Release my spirit! Looks like we win!
shall remain good. Yeah. Ready? It's a marmot. It's quick with its attacks. It'd be best to use hidden arts. Beast Thunder! Shadow Shot! Fear the storm! Try this on! Fight of fire! What? Just leave it Release to me! Release my spirit! Release my spirit! Attack while retreating. So it's best to aim right after it attacks. Does this mean that I have? Pushovers either. Wasn't worried for a moment. Blade bang! Earth 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 well done. Earth 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 well done, everyone. Very well. How about you, Maves? No escape! I did it! Yeah. Well done! Ready to go! This is a Hellion. Is that a monolith?
Weapons ready! Be gone! Let's get him! Take on everyone! Bring forth! Be gone! Get on everyone! Does this mean... I'm sure it came out fine. Sense the ancient tongue. We're near one.
hold back if we want to win! Ready? Strike! Oh, it's over! It's over. It. Oh, Beast Thunder! Try this off! It will end here! I won't lose! This is it over! Whoa! Hear the storm! Try this on! Yeah! Blade Bang! This is it over! I swear to God! I must have a good start! Killer Support! Resistance to fire! Primordial Light! Caesar Bell! Ancient Burning Charge! Brilliant Classic Burning Charge! Killer Support!
job, Saray. I just saw a monolith written in ancient tongue. Wait for a moment. Be gone! Not yet! It's over! Sweet dreams! I get it! Ready? Get it. Right, let's get him! Wonderful! My will shall pierce thee, just like this. I don't think we've checked that monolith out yet. Whoa, it looks like it's just ceremonial. This bow is a divine artifact. A what? Oh, right. Hold on. So if this bow is a divine artifact, what does that mean? A divine artifact determines the form the Armatus will take. Essentially, it serves as a model for the Armatus. A model for the Armatus? Oh, yeah. Like Lila's sacred blade. The Sacred Blade of Lady Lake is also a divine artifact. Huh, and that's why your Armatus is a sword. Hey, does this mean that I can use your Sacred Blade to armatize with other Seraphim as well? Well, that depends on the circumstances. First, as I mentioned earlier, just as I am the Prime Lord of you, the Shepherd, they would have to become my Sublord in turn. What exactly is a Sublord? Put simply, it is the title for one who assists Saray while working under the influence of my power. <sighs> Consider the elemental property of the Divine Artifact. Each Seraph has their own unique element that falls under their control. Mine, for instance, is fire. So if the Divine Artifacts all have their own elements, does that mean a Seraph can't armatize with it if their element is different? Indeed it does. It would appear this bow's element is water. And Miklio is a water seraph. Let's go! Huh? Saray does not wish to make Miklio his sublord. Why not? It's no different than when I was made a squire. But you called on the Shepherd's power in order to achieve your dream. Isn't that right? Miklio is different.
that? Is that a monolith? Wasn't worried for a moment. Well, don't get careless. My Ready? Very well. Does this mean that I have? I hate to break this to you, but... Yes. What? W where? Uh, above! I can see it. Don't. It's poisonous. Stop! <laughs> Lila, get back! Okay. Fepper's Mioma! Wait a fire! I must. There's still so many of them. 
Dang! Twin blow! Miklio! You couldn't have timed that better! Lila, let me become your sublord. Are you sure about this? Wait, hold on now! You're right. I am stubborn as a rock. Huh? I admit it. I'm hellbent on becoming a sublord. But there's something important that you don't understand! I do understand! I just didn't want you to get involved! Get over yourself. <sighs> do you really think this is your dream alone? Saray, do as Miklio says! You can hear him too? This is our dream. Now, Lila! Very well. Oh, ye born of the sacred currents of peace. Miklio! Lila! Here let our path be forged, that my unquavering incandescence may be as thy purification. Shouldst thou accept this burden, recite along your etc. Etc? Now for the Armatis. Miklio, give Saray your true name! He already knows. You bet I do! Here we go, Miklio! Let's end this! Give it your all! Ha! Gone! Ha! Ha! Gone! No Now the chance! Now the chance! Now the chance! This is our Armatus. I'll do the aiming, Saray. All right. Wow, that was amazing, you two. Oh, were you able to remove it? Now that you mention it, it just came off. I wonder why. Does it... does it really matter? Besides, this means that I can now use the Armatus at will, right? Lost those training wheels. Look at you. Shut up. Makes sense. So, that's why he couldn't take it off before. Miklio, I wanted to say... Don't thank me. After all, I merely did this for my own dream. I know that. I feel oddly envious. Agreed. Alicia, don't tell me! Yes, not only can I hear your voice, I can see you now. No way! You can see Seraphim now? I think it just goes to show how strong you've already gotten. <laughs> Maybe we do have a fighting chance against this Lord of Calamity. Saray. Lila. Miklio. Please accept my sincerest gratitude for saving me. It was nothing, I assure you. But you're welcome. I thought we weren't supposed to be thanking you. I guess there's no need to worry. All right, the waterfall is just up ahead.
can sense the ancient tongue. We're near one. So Ray tends to get into danger. Please help him. Plenty pure to me. Hey, Miklio, do you think you can freeze this water? Huh? Yeah, don't see why not. Then freeze it and let us bring it back to the sanctuary. Ice is highly resistant to being corrupted by malevolence. Very well, I'll give it a try. Thank you very much. That should suffice. Now, before this melts, we'd better take care of our other problem. What? Lila, what was that? The Earth in Historia. It finally reacted to something. So that was something real from the past. Did you see that, Miklio? He was writing the Celestial Record. Yeah, that must have been the author. There are more Earth in Historia where this came from. If we obtain them, surely we can obtain more information about the past. Oh man, this is too sweet! This is only the beginning. Don't get so worked up, or you'll just wear yourself out. Right. Whoa, hey, hey, hey! He's burning up. This is a result of the pact we made with Miklio. He'll get better after some rest at the inn. I'll carry him back. If we want to cool him down, I guess I better make some more ice. <laughs> 